Hi guys, this is Bogdan from DNN Sharp. The video today is about um, implementing custom validation on server side. And if you follow our communities, you, maybe you know that we already have some uh, validation, but this uh, is done from the configuration files and this is somehow uh, difficult to do. And then we have another new mechanism for validation that will come in a future version where you can do it directly in, in the admin. And today's video is about finding a compromise until we have such mechanism. And there are two questions that pop again and again at support. The first one is how do you achieve um, validation of two form fields that are, they are identical? And the other one is, uh, is when you need that a certain field has a given length. And I will just explain things further as, as we go along. So let's start with a, a new action form. And let's add to, let's start with a blank form and we'll add two email fields. And let's call them email and Validate email. And next we'll add a button and here we'll write our success message first. <coughs> and then the trick that I'm going to use is I will add a um, display error message action, put this on top of the success message but give it a condition. So this will only be displayed if the email is not the same with the validate email. So what happens here if this expression evaluates to true, this action is uh, displayed and this message is returned. Otherwise, if this expression evaluates to false, this action is bypassed and the uh, execution goes to the next action which returns the success message. So let's test that this actually works. I will just uh, try with an error first. B1 at DNN sharp. Sharp .com. Submit this and you see I have an error. Now if I make the two equal, it's all good. Now this is a very easy server-side validation to do. It will not work client-side. If you also need to do it client-side, you can go into configuration file and maybe implement something uh, regex-based. I'm not sure if it will work for validating multiple fields. I think you will have to implement a group validator. But I think um, we are a few weeks away from having this um, validation piece implemented into the admin. So I don't think you need to get your hands dirty unless you have a very strict requirement. So the next thing that I'm going to do, I will add a um, text box and I will validate that it's, it is of certain length. And let's call this, um, let's say phone number or uh, ID number. And let's say that we need this ID number to be at least 10 characters in length or maybe five. I will do the same thing. I will add a message, display error message. Put this again on top of the success message and give it a condition to check the length of the ID number field. So I'll just grab its ID. And you should know that in this condition field, all tokens are strings, are strings like in .NET strings. So they have all the property of .NET uh, string object, like length. Actually, the other way around. So what I did here is I added another error message that will be displayed only when the ID number that length, only the length of the number is less than five characters. 
and I will say here that is too short. Okay, so just go back and now I will try to submit again to say it, was, it, it is sh too short. If I put one, two, three, four, it's still too short. If I put five, now it's good to go. So you see it's very easy to validate on the server side and it's not very difficult to do it on the client side either. I will not, g I will not go into too many details, but uh, le let me just tell you that you can um, use this on change handler which runs on client side and uh, do some uh, client side display some client side message and this is also very easy i can do it like this that length and now in this case in the context of um, client side this is all javascript and this token will actually get replaced with a javascript variable in this case so it's no longer a string it's a javascript variable that has a, a dant length property and now if it's uh, less than five i can just put some text in a static message so i will add a static i will call it error and now i can just say error equals so a too short from js else maybe i should um, I should reset this and this is just when to achieve it you can also achieve it with show so for example you can have the text in static and here just uh, and just use the show binding of the static and here just change that expression somehow okay so I'll just save and show you th this real quick and I will not go in much in more details right now so you see it says sorry it's too short one two three four five it's good so now i also have a uh, maybe not true validation on the client side but at least i have a message saying that something is wrong i hope this helps and you can see how these um, expressions are uh, true tr something uh, really powerful in action form and they can be used for a lot of different things and i'm talking both about server side expression and client side expression Thank you for your time and talk to you soon and I will be back with more videos.